Hey, what's up? Got good news. We've got another course scheduled for March here at Finch University in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's going to be more of a perimeter access control slash gate operator type of course. Uh, it's going to be a quick start course, so it's going to be a lot of hands-on stuff and uh, some minimal technical stuff. Ow, dang it. This is the reason why I actually started this video. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, to let you know of that, that we were going to have those uh, courses coming up. So if you missed the gate operator one, this will only be about half of what that one is, but, um, and uh, a little bit less theory. So uh, if you're looking for gate operator and telephone entry, entry level basics, this is going to be a good class for you. Uh, looks like we just secured $95. Uh, night rooms, which is good if you want to stay at South Point, which is only a block away. Um, uh, the gated operator quick start class that just happened, uh, just wanted to thank Allomatic. They were uh, super helpful and they got us four gate operators, the SL100 and the SL90. Um, and I wanted to bring up this little tool. This is something that we talked about in class. This is what's called a brand name, Wago Connector. And it is pressure in essence mechanical pressure type connector and what it actually will allow you to do is on the older well older i mean they're still making them uh automatic boards where you have fewer commons you can actually take one of these bad boys and actually plug uh common into one side and then that opens you up to four other commons now uh, if you're dealing with a smaller gauge wire you can actually twist some uh, two wires together and actually put them in there as well too but they help make a solid connection for your commons and they give you if, if you will more commons um when we were putting in the photo eyes photo eyes on the common the power and the common for the relay, the negative for the power and the common on the relay um, for the open photo eye and the closed photo eye, both go in the same um, little terminal and uh, there's just not enough room. So that was one of the tricks that we were used to get away from that. And I just thought I would show you that, but also tell you that we got class, another class coming up and we'll be doing a month, classes monthly, um, all types of access control, automatic gates, IT type classes uh, to help you uh, professionals out there up your skills and and uh, also to help train your guys as well too we know that training employees can get expensive and that's what we're here to help you do uh, we're going to have some open houses we're going to have some online classes and a couple other things so that's pretty exciting news uh, but huge shout out to everybody that has been supporting us uh, with the finch university automatic was a tremendous help we have u.s automatic patriot set up with the gate, uh, with battery power, and uh, with the next gate system. And uh, very thankful for US Automatic helping as well too. ASO, security brands, um, EMX, BD Loops, and there were a couple other people that helped as well too. And I um, want to say just a big shout out, thank you, because that's the only way that these guys can get hands on stuff is to actually get your products in front of them. And uh, we support these guys and I want to say thank you for supporting us. But uh, little trick, Wago connector. If you need more comments, if you do any access control or automatic gates, you're always going to need something like this. But the other thing too is it's not just low voltage. This will handle high voltage as well too. And these things have a little connector that you can put a bunch of them in and then mount it to a DIN rail as well as, what was the last thing I was going to say? They also make a protective cover that's gel filled that if you're doing something that's below grade, you can actually encapsulate this whole thing in a gel filled uh, connector. So um, cool little tip and a cool little trick if you're out there in the field and uh, stop by Finch University for our schedule. We're going to be doing stuff all throughout the year. As of right now, the only um, courses that, uh, that uh, don't have, the only months that don't have a course scheduled in them is December to the best of my knowledge. And who knows, we might even do something then as well too. So finchuniversity.com and uh, thank you for, for uh, everybody that supported it. Appreciate it.